Science Together is a pilot programme, which means it's testing a new approach to public engagement with research. Normally for public engagement with research, it's up to the researchers to think about how their research work can be made relevant and accessible and engaging for people with no prior knowledge in that subject. In Science Together, we flipped that model on its head. So rather than starting with the researchers, we started with the community groups across Oxfordshire. We asked them, what would you do if we gave you a bit of money to kickstart a project and gave you access to our researchers and resources that we have at the university? And they each came up with eight brilliantly different research projects that form the Science Together programme. It's June 2022 and we're here at the Oxford University Museum of Natural History and we're celebrating the end of the pilot year of Science Together. Today's event at the museum is showcasing the eight projects that have been working on their amazing collaborations this year. The projects are all brilliantly diverse. Watlington Climate Action Group are looking at how hedgerow derived pigments can be incorporated into CO2 absorbing paint. We've been working with the Department of Engineering. They came back with the conclusion that there is a real potential to be a climate solution. So, yeah, telling people that it's out there, it does exist and it works. Lee's Community Development Initiative have been working with the young people at their centre to develop an app to help them use their services. We found it's been very a kind of successful experience, both for the young people involved in the club as well as for us, it's been such a fantastic learning journey for us to understand how to communicate. Oxford Neighbourhood Watch are out on the lawn and they've been doing a survey of local residents to find out more about bike theft in the local area. And they're doing bike locking demos for people to see how to safely lock up their bikes. It's been absolutely lovely just meeting people that you, you wouldn't normally meet. There, there was a definite link of community groups with, with Science Together. We've got Oxfordshire Play Association who have been doing a literature review about the benefits of free play for the development of children. And they're here with their smoothie bike and other children's games to help children have fun. The Science Together programme has just really sort of reaffirmed our belief that that was always the sort of people we needed to work with and engage with. And yeah, I think science can be an amazing part of play, <laughs> certainly in terms of the exploration and just kids looking for ideas and trying new things. So yeah, it's just been fabulous. And then in the evening we've got a showcase where we hear a little bit from each of the project teams and it's an opportunity for them to share some of their experiences and reflect on how the pilot year has gone for them. One of the issues that Science Together is trying to address is how for some people they don't consider science as being for them. And so the approach that we took through Science Together was to start off with conversations with community groups. We asked them what was important to them and the people that they support. And through that we identified ways in which their needs and opportunities overlapped with research already being done at the University of Oxford and Oxford Brookes University. From there it's a relatively small step towards developing collaborative research projects between researchers and community groups. Here back at the museum, the research project groups are busy with their talks and their workshops. Urban Music Foundation are giving a talk which explains the interplay between hip-hop music and science and technology. They've done this by showcasing music epochs throughout time, from the 1950s through to modern day and beyond. You know, we've really connected on a human level. It's not been a top-down thing where you're kind of intimidated by these researchers or whatever, but they've been really nice people and really as excited about the project as I am. So, yeah, it's been great. I'd encourage people to, to get involved with it. The Barton Community Association have developed the Barton Collab, which is a young producers initiative where they've worked with some young people to develop an interactive workshop where they get to run a session where people come in and respond to the idea of there being a natural disaster, which is a volcanic eruption in Iceland, and how they would deal with a volcanic winter that's caused in Barton by it. But it just makes you think there are different fun ways of 
being involved in science and not feeling like you're in a science lesson. Even just that collaborative process of working with people with very different ideas I think is, is good for any researcher. You always need to think outside the box and working with people who have lots of different interests can I help you do that in your own work. HEEN is a charity that supports disabled people in Oxfordshire. They're here today giving people an opportunity to play the board game that they've co-developed with young people at KEEN to help them as a communication tool and to develop self-advocacy. It is an opportunity to, to meet other people, to think about, really think about what you are doing as a researcher and to connect with the public. And then there's Daybreak who have been running art music therapy sessions for people with dementia and they're running an accessible workshop and talking about their investigation into the psychological impact of these sessions and how beneficial they are for people and their well-being. So this has been a really important programme for me as an academic because it has put um, public and patient involvement at the heart of the research design process but it's not always easy to put into practice, so having a programme like this set up, designed around that exact thing, has been absolutely wonderful. Science Together has been a fantastic programme to be involved with. It's been really hard work, but it's all been worthwhile seeing how the researchers and the community groups and everyone who supported the programme has learnt from each other and developed something that actually brings benefit to people outside the university. As well as that, it can lead to new innovative research ideas and new collaborations between researchers who normally, through their day-to-day -day work, wouldn't come into contact. So Science Together sets out to break down those hierarchies, or perceived hierarchies, between researchers and community groups. Because really, when you get down to it, we're all just people. And as soon as you start at that layer, then you realise how much you've got in common rather than the differences. And the project can really start to take off. If you'd like to get involved or hear more about the Science Together programme, please get in touch. We'd love to hear from you.